best for search. Now the next one we'll choose will will have uh, the modification of the best for search, which is called greedy best for search. Greedy best first search. Now, what is the modif mod modification here in the best first search? So in the best first search, we use the evolution function. Now here we'll use the heuristic value. In the best first search, we'll use the heuristic function, sorry, evolution function. In the greedy best first search, we'll use the heuristic value. Okay. And that heuristic value we'll find out using the straight line distance method, which will use straight line distance method or Euclidean distance method, or you can say uh, triangle inequality method, which will tell you the, the distance between two points. So the greedy first search, a best search method, try to expand the node that is closest to the goal on the ground that this is likely to lead to the solution quickly. Thus, it evaluate node by using just the heuristic function. This function is equal to HN. HN is my heuristic value for a particular node N. Let us see how this works for root finding problem in Romania. We use the straight line distance heuristic, which we will call H. This is called H, straight line distance. If the goal is Bucharest, we need to know the straight line distance to Bucharest, which is shown in figure, for example, this H S L D in Arat. What is the meaning of this? The meaning is, if I am in Arat city, I need to reach to the Bucharest. So I'll apply the heuristic straight line distance method to find out the value. And that value is 366 means from Arad, if I want to go to the Bucharest in a straight line, this will be the distance. Okay, that, uh, that city is there. Yes, this is there. This is there. So what it is saying is, I'm just taking this particular uh, diagram. Now, as you can see, this Romania state where we have different cities. Now, if you'll see this particular diagram, it says that it is using a straight line, uh, straight line distance uh, algorithm, in which it is saying that from Arad to go to the Bucharest. So, this is the Bucharest. I want to go from Arad. So, from Arad to the Bucharest it is showing that the heuristic value, a straight line heuristic value is 366 and it will be denoted as H straight line distance in Arad, which is equal to 366. How it will find 366? It will find out the straight line between Arad and the Bucharest. And this straight line has this well, this cost. So it is just like we are going from Bhubaneswar to Kolkata through plane. So if I'm going through plane, definitely uh, there is the cost, but it is like a straight line. We are going from one, one node to another node in a straight line. So if it is like that, then the cost is 366. But as you can see here, there are many costs written. This cost is to from this city to this city, this is the cost, this city to this city, this is the cost, this city to this city, this is the cost. So let's say the cost is the, the distance in kilometer. So from Arad to Bucharest, if you are going a straight line, then the cost, the distance is 366 kilometer. And that is written in that way. From Bucharest to Bucharest, definitely, what is the cost? Is zero. From Caravia, to Bucharest, 160. Where is Caravia? Here. 
from here to here, if you'll find out the straight line. So it is 160 because there is no direct path from uh, uh, Karewa to the Bucharest, right? So from uh, Petisti, we have to go. But from here to here, this is the straight line. This is straight line value is 6160. So I hope you understood what does that mean? That mean is we'll take the straight line distance algorithm, we'll apply the straight line distance algorithm in the graph and we'll find out the, the value. That value is nothing but heuristic value. And based on that value, we'll take the decision which particular node has to be explored next. So as you can see here, uh, from Arad, from Arad, if I am in Arad, let's say I'm, I am in Arad city, Let's say I am in Arad city and this is my start state. If this is my start state, so where I can go from Arad, which particular node I have? I have Zeran, I have Sibui, I have Timisiara. Now, the thing is that which particular node had to be explored if I don't have these value? Let's say I don't have the heuristic value. So which particular node I should explore? Definitely, I, I should explore Zeran. Definitely, I should explore Zeran. Why? Because the cost from Arad to Zeran is very less in a blind search algorithm. But here in the greedy bus for search, which particular node has to be explored next? So I'll use the heuristic value. Whose heuristic value is less? Zeran, Siboi, or Timasiara? Let's see. Timasiara is taking 392. It is taking 390. Three, sorry, 329. Uh, so, boy is taking 253 and uh, Zerand is taking 374. So, in the blind for in the blind searching algorithm or uninformed search algorithm, my choice was Zerand because of the path cost. But here, what should be the so it is 329, it is 253, it is 7. So this will be my choice. So from this node, I should explore this node. This is Sibui. Now from Sibui, I can go to uh, Rumnivika, I can go to Fagaras, I can go to Orandia, or I can go to Arad. Arad is already been explored. I can explore Orandia, uh, Fagaras, or uh, Rumni Vika, right? Now, if I'll go to Rumni Vika, so what is the cost here is 193. Pegaras, what is the cost is 176. For Orandia, what is the cost is 380, definitely. It is more. Why from here to here, the straight line is, is definitely it is, the distance is high from Oran to Bucharest. So which has to be explored next? So what are the nodes that can explore? I can explore Zeran because it is in the frontier list. Timasiara uh, it is also. Orandis is also. Fagaras and Rumania is also. Which is having least Fagaras. So I'll explore Fagaras. Now from Fagaras, where I can go? I can go to Subai, which has already been explored. Or I can go to Bucharest. So I can go, I explore the Bucharest. From Bucharest, what is the cost? Cost is zero. Now, which particular node has to be explored next? So I don't have to explore any of these. I'll just have to explore Bucharest. Why? Because the cost is zero. Now, if, if I'll explore Bucharest, so this is my goal node. So I hope you understood. I don't have to make a bigger, uh, bigger uh, state space, or we don't have to do the bigger search here. Instead, what I have done is from Arad, I just explore three, which is Timasiara, Zeran, and Suboi. From Suboi, I have explored three. What are those? Oranda, Rumniki Vika, Vilika, and Fegaras. From Fegaras, what I have explored is Pucharest which is my goal node. So as you can see, the 
the state space is less, very less. But if I'll apply the uniform cost search here, the state space will be very high. Maybe I'll, I'll start with the uh, zenth pi because the cost is less. After that, I may go to orenda because the cost is less. So in that way, I may go to the Bucharest. But here, I'm getting the result very quickly. Why? Because of the heuristic value. Because of some estimated cost, which will give you the near to uh, near to uh, your best cost. Okay. So this is my greedy best search uh, algorithm. Okay. This is an example, uh, and it this is telling you the straight line distance between uh, any node to the goal node any node to the goal node from a to the goal node 40 from b to the goal node 32 from c to the goal node these all these are the straight line and this is my heuristic this is my h h value this is my h value heuristic value right so i'll use this heuristic to find out uh, the a to g what should be the part So I can solve this also with the same uh, with the same um, function. Right? We'll start with A. From A, where we can go, we can go to B, we can go to D, or we can go to C. We can go to B, we can go to C, or we can go to D. But here, these value are the path cost. I'm not taking the path cost in account. Instead, I'll take this straight line distance value. So B. From B to G, it is 32. From C to G, it is 25. So I'll just write it down. From B, it is 32. From C, it is 25. From D, it is 35. So 32, 25, 35. So which one is a less? Definitely. 25 is the less. So I'll explore C. From C, where I can go? I can go to E, I can go to F, or I can go to A. A is already been explored. It is already been explored. So I'll just go to two. Which one? I go to E or I go to F. From E, what is the cost? It is 19. I'm just writing here. From F, what is the cost? It is 17. Now, 32, 35, 19, 17. All these are in the frontier list, right? B, D, E, F. Which I'll choose? I'll choose F because F is having least cost. From F, where I can go? I can go to D or I can go to G. Because D is already there and the D value is not going to change because it's already 35. So I can go to G. And what is the value of G? G is 0. Now, which one I, I should explore? Because this has already been explored. This has already been explored. From G, where I can go? I can go to F. Sorry. Uh, from here, which I have to explore? It is 32, it is 35, it is 19, and it is zero this is my frontier so g is have to explore because it is having less so g will be compared with the goal node and we find out the goal node so what is the path here path is a to c c to f and f to g so as you can see as you can see this is more easier to finding out the solution if we have some heuristic value and based on that heuristic value, we'll decide which particular node has to be find next. Okay. Which particular node has to be explored next.